Are you tired of the voltage drops in your home causing the refrigerator to try to restart over and over and finally malfunctioning? This simple, low-cost gadget turns the refrigerator off during the voltage drop and goes back to normal operation when line voltage returns to its nominal value. All you need is a 220 to 240 volts alternating current relay, a 10 watt resistor, a 1N407 diode, and a 40 microfarad 350 volts electrolytic capacitor, a cord and a plug, a patch over AC outlet, that is an outlet not requiring a metal box to be mounted, and finally a small project box where these components fit loosely. This schematic diagram shows the configuration of the relay terminals. The two terminals shown below are those corresponding to the coil. The rest are the contacts that will turn the refrigerator on and off. This other drawing shows all active elements are connected in series resistor R1, diode D1, and the relay coil. The capacitor is in parallel with the relay coil, and together with the diode, it prevents the vibration of the relay contacts. Assume R1 is a 1500 ohm resistor, but the final value requires calibrating the device so it will turn off the fridge at the appropriate line voltage. Capacitor C1, 40 microfarads at 350 volts, has a minimum voltage value acceptable for a long useful life, so it can also be a 450 volt unit. A simple way to calibrate this gadget is to use an AC voltmeter in a glass container with slightly salty water, and which has a fixed electrode and a movable electrode which could be a screwdriver used as a cursor to vary the resistance. The procedure is as follows. With the screwdriver touching the fixed electrode, thus presenting a resistance of 0 ohms, the reading on the voltmeter can be, say, 125 volts AC. When we move the screwdriver slowly to the right, away from the fixed electrode, this increases the resistance of the salty water and the voltmeter reading goes down. When the voltage has dropped to about 100 volts, we should hear the click of the relay as it is de-energized. It is necessary to take into account the one second delay between the 100 volt reading and the relay deactivation due to the charge in the capacitor. If 100 volts seem OK, we can leave R1 at 1500 ohms. If the relay is released before dropping to 100 volts, the value of R1 must be reduced to about 1200 ohms. If the relay lets go when the voltage is too low, say about 80 volts, the value of R1 must be increased to about 1700 ohms. By playing a bit with these values, you can get the relay to be released at the correct point to prevent the refrigerator from being still on when the voltage goes below 100 volts. A normal phase drop in a 120 volt power line usually lowers the voltage to about 60 volts. So in a line that is normally held at about 120 to 125 volts, the voltage will drop well below 100 volts in those conditions. If you choose too high a threshold, say 110 volts, the normal light fluctuations can cause the device to go on and off and damage may result. If the threshold is set too low, say 80 volts, the motor will be exposed to the low voltage 
long enough as to burn the motor windings, and the protection will not work. When building the gadget, please make sure all the components are in good working order. For example, the diode should not be short-circuited, as this may cause the electrolytic capacitor to explode. Attention should be paid also to the polarities of both the diode and the capacitor. The normally open contacts in the relay must be connected in series with one of the line cables going from the plug to the outlet, thus turning the fridge on and off by means of the relay. I hope this video has been useful to you. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel.